it is time to put my demo fire alarm system and its initiating devices all this time through full functional tests. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to home, uh, excuse me, home, yeah, home demo system test three. Brain had a stroke there for a second, forgive me. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing okay. It is, once again, very late at night on a Saturday evening, and, uh, I uh, had nothing else to do, so I figured why not make some noise and hopefully not annoy my wife in the process. <laughs> so um, everything's still the same. Uh, smoke detectors and whatnot got new notification appliances, and uh, this time we will be putting all the detectors through full functional tests and not just using the uh, screwdriver to hit the test button. So you may be asking what notification appliances are up. Well, hopefully uh, this strobe is fairly an easy giveaway. Today, we have Gentex Commander 3s, both set to 75 Candela. Here's the other one. And uh, in the idea of trying not to annoy my wife too much, <laughs> I have them set on Code 3 Chime. And uh, obviously they're synced via the FACP. Uh, as soon as I'm done filming this video, I need to take this, I need to go into the programming and set this clock back one hour because uh, today is the evening we are going back to standard time. We are going to begin the system test as we typically do using the current pull station that I've had for the last three system tests, the Firelight BG12L. I'm hoping in the next one I will have a different pull station. Um, Detectors I'm not so sure about, because they're not as easy to come by as pull stations as far as conventional devices, as this is a conventional system. Uh, I'm hoping in the next video I'll have, um, I'm trying I'm trying to decide if I want to go with a 270 SPO or a simplex uh, T-bar, like a 4251-20 or something like that. Anyway, here come the doorbells. always loved about chime strobes is as long as they're in a confined space, especially if you're a fire alarm hobbyist, you never have to worry too much about them growing too frantic with noise because obviously even with having two chime strobes within 10 feet of each other, I'm hardly getting any earache. Now just to have some fun here, let's turn the light off and close this door again. Look at that. There's the whole setup, kind of in the dark. Oh, the strobes are losing their sync. That's not good. That's weird. Zone one, pull station at FACP. Sweet. So the one initiating device I wasn't able to test in the last system test was this heat detector. Well, uh, courtesy of my employer, I have a solo heat detector tester, and I'm going to use it to test this heat detector. All right, I had to move the heat detector back just a little bit because I couldn't get this thing over it, but now that I can, you hear it heating up. It's probably gonna take it a minute. Keep an eye on the LED because it should go solid red. There, get it a little more compressed. There we go. And now it's cooling off. I'm gonna go ahead and switch off the tester and set it down here. And that's how you test a rate of rise heat detector. If it was a fixed temperature heat detector, this thing would never work again. Thankfully, they don't make devices like that much anymore. Combo. I have it set as combo because this also doubles as a smoke, but it's uh, in this instance being used as the heat. So I uh, have it labeled here as heat detector right, meaning the right side of the setup. 
And uh, now we got both these zones in alarm. And uh, we're now going to do the smokes. And given that I used a solo heat tester for the heat detector, you can probably guess how I'm going to test the smoke detectors. We have Smoke Centurion, which formerly was Solo Smoke, and it's a canned aerosol, which is literally testing smoke gas, uh, uh, yeah, artificial smoke gas for testing smoke detectors. I use it every day at work. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit this guy first, and then we're going to have to do a reset because these two smokes are on the same zone. So let's go ahead and... Get you some smoke in there. That should be more than enough to get it to go. There we go. And as you can see, this one is two wire detector, smoke detector on FACP slash left, meaning above the FACP or to the left. Okay, don't know why my camera just cut off. That was weird. And now we have zone one, uh, th uh, two, and three. So the pull station, the heat detector, and one of the smokes. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> just to make sure that smoke cleared out. And is this thing? Yeah, it should be cooled by now. So we will go ahead and do a f uh, system reset. Hopefully this one doesn't go back into alarm, but knowing knowing my luck, it probably will here in a couple seconds. Okay, so it looks like we got lucky. Uh, this one did not go back into alarm. I thought I put way too much smoke and didn't blow it out. And I'll oh, look at that. Never mind. The red LED's blinking. It can continue to clear while we go ahead and test this guy. <laughs> That's more than enough for that. Just gotta wait. There we go. Hit my box of stuff. <laughs> Two wire detector, smoke detector, FACP slash left. In this case, it would be left. Zone two. Alarm silence. And we will, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. Well, first, where's the, there. Couldn't find the cap for this for a minute. All right. I think I blew that out enough, but just to be safe. I know I sound like a complete weirdo doing that and I apologize. We'll do one final reset from the enunciator. And hopefully it doesn't go back in. Why am I shaky? Probably because I'm bending down. I'll just show you the LCD on here so I don't have to worry about being as a, as a flimsy. Well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. It's actually really nice getting to put these things through a full functional test. Let me go ahead and move this back so I don't have to worry about the junction box showing too much. It really is cool when you get to put these things through a real functional test and not just hit the freaking test button. Is that red LED blinking? Nope. Still just resetting. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Home, Sims, uh, blah, 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 home Demo System Test 3. <laughs> I can't talk tonight guys. It's late. I'll see y'all next time.